The Serious Fraud Office is examining hundreds of documents in connection with the collapse of the Carroll Group of Companies, once Britain's third li largest private business. The former multimillionaire head of the group, Gerald Carroll, claims the documents prove he was the victim of a massive fraud. He's now bankrupt and has spoken for the first time about his claims to Sky News. Gerald Carroll was once one of Britain's most successful businessmen, but his company's collapse now financially ruined. He claims he's the victim of a massive fraud. This is, beyond any reasonable doubt, the biggest criminal fraud heist in British history. Carroll has connections with the great and the good, not just royalty, but senior politicians. He had 85 companies, a string of racehorses, and collections of art and cars. Yet within years, his empire was reduced to this, a few pictures and mementos of his former wealthy life. Now the serious fraud office is studying hundreds of documents which Carroll believes proves his business collapsed because of systematic fraud, not, as some argue, the recession. After a disastrous shopping mall venture over the A1 in Hertfordshire, the Carroll Group embarked on a major restructuring, much of which Carroll says he knew nothing about. He says dummy companies were set up and others had their names swapped. For example, Ely Property became Winskirk, whilst Winskirk became Ely Property. I thought I had a grip of what was going on. Clearly, what was going on was not actually what was being presented to me. Debts mounting, Carroll went bankrupt. Later, financial anomalies were spotted by the Inland Revenue. Carroll is demanding a police investigation and has high-level support. There, there are enough indications, even to a fairly... Uh, uneducated eye that, that things were odd and you know money disappeared and companies changed names and so on. Scotland Yard is now waiting for the serious fraud office to complete its deliberations. Meanwhile the collapse of the Carroll Group remains one of Britain's most enduring business mysteries. Jim Gilchrist, Sky News. And the full version of Gerald Carroll's story can be seen on Saturday. We're showing it twice on Sky News. 1.30 and 8.30 it's called Richie Saroon, presented by Sky News political editor Adam Bolton.